Prunus virginiana. The nickname for this plant is condom. This is part one and in part two I'll be sharing a mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristics of this plant. Technically a tree or shrub. Be sure to watch all of part one so that part two is understandable. It can appear as a tree or a shrub. Rarely grows over 30 feet tall. 10 to 20 feet wide when mature. It is thicket forming. Has an irregular crown. Very straggly plant. The bark <clears throat> has prominent quirky spots, which are reddish white. As you see, the bark is shiny. The bark of this tree is a younger tree because it is so shiny. As the tree matures, becomes more dark and develops deep fissures or ridges. On the bark of younger trees, There are very distinct horizontal rows of raised pores. The younger trees have gray to reddish brown bark. And as the tree gets older, the bark turns darker in color, thicker. And as I said before, those um, raised pores develop into deeper grooves. This is an older tree here. The twigs are slender. And if they're broken, they will emit a bitter almond odor. And as you see, the twigs are covered with brownish scales. The buds are one third inches long. This is a picture of one of the individual flowers. As you see, it has five petals, which are almost round. There are about 25 stamen. Petals are white, as you see. This is a close-up picture of a cluster of flowers referred to as a raceme. There are numerous flowers which form this raceme and they appear before the flowers are fully or before the leaves are fully developed.
as you see, the race scene <clears throat> is referred to as a flower spike in this case. These spikes can be from three to six inches long, dense clusters of individual flowers. These flowers emit an almond like fragrance. As you see, they are arranged in cylindrical elongated form each of these flowers are about one quarter to three eighths inches in diameter This picture gives you an idea of where the nickname is derived from. Now these flowers will be replaced with the fruit or berries. That will obviously result in grape-like clusters, grape-like clusters of berries or fruit. Here is a picture of some unripened fruit. Note the plum like or cherry like seam that is barely seen here that plays a part in the mnemonic in part two or memory technique in part two. I'll be getting to the leaves later, but this picture shows us how the edges are very finely serrated. The fruit is fleshy. Each berry is globular or shaped like a globe. They're soft when ripe. There's a pit or a large seed in the center, smaller than the commercial or the uh, typical black cherry, being about one quarter to three eighths inches in diameter. This is a picture of some choke cherries which are more along the purple side. They range in color from dark red to purple or almost black. When ripe that is. They're shiny. Shiny 
shows you a picture of the pit inside hanging in grape like clusters they have a very sweet but astringent or very tart uh, taste this picture shows you some more seams there's a seam here from top to bottom like a plum here you can barely see one they're not very deep but they're noticeable here and even here there's one they're on all of the berries but in these photographs not all are facing the camera here more of the seams are noticeable consistent characteristic in all plum or cherry species of plants dark red these are some of the pits now the leaves as I said earlier has finely serrated edges notice how they are consistently divided the leaves are green and shiny as you can see there this particular leaf would be classified as being ovate oblong not quite oval but a long oval ovate oblong this is the second of three shapes that the leaves can appear in on this tree or shrub and this shape is referred to in botany as elliptic or football shaped and the third which the only picture that I could find referencing the third possible shape that some of the tr some of the leaves on this tree or shrub could be is oblong <clears throat> oblong obovate or teardrop shaped and as you can see if this picture were turned upside down the tear would appear to be dropping from the stem the leaves have two glands where in about the area where the leaf meets the stem these stalks are up to about a half inch long and the leaves are also usually abruptly pointed the blades are one to 
to four inches long and from one to two inches wide. This leaf here represents the black and white drawing that I showed earlier. It does uh, bear more of the um, oblong obovate or teardrop shape which can also be present on this tree or shrub. dropping away from the stem. The leaflets alternate along the stem. And when they are crushed, they emit a fragrance resembling cherry. In the winter or in the autumn, they turn yellow. Now this picture shows us the leaves of one of its lookalikes and one of the many ways which are shared on the poisonous lookalikes pocket chart as well as the fact sheet of this plant at survival course or survivalplantsmemorycourse.com these leaves are serrated, but the points are inconsistent. They are irregular. They are soft. Some of the leaves on the branch will be smooth. Some of the leaves on the branch will have some of these teeth around the edges, which again will be inconsistent, irregular. This is another picture of the look alike. Not consistent, not very finely or closely uh, arranged. This is a picture of the seed or fruit pit of the choke cherry. Now the edible parts of this plant are the fruit and the seeds. To learn how to prepare these parts, visit Survival Plants Memory Course dot com. There on the home page you'll find the index of plants and click on the Prunus virginiana choke cherry or condom all on one link. You'll find the methods of preparation on the fact sheet. This has been part one and in part two, I'll be sharing a mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristics of this plan for identifying purposes. Thank you for watching.